Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. That is standard 3.2a in the state of Texas. And we are using, as an example, item number 27 off of the 2016 STAR test. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work out this problem, and then unpause it and we'll look at our answers together. So this seems like a pretty straightforward problem here. The sum of eight ten thousands, four hundreds, and nine tens can be expressed as what number in standard form? So this is in what we call the number word form. So we see the digits, we see the eight, we see the four, and we see the nine, and then we see the words that represent each place value, ten thousands, four hundreds, and nine tens. So there's kind of a long way to do this and a short way. Let's do the long way first, in case you really aren't sure about place value, but you know what eight ten thousands are. Well, one thing we can do is we can uh, literally just take our eight ten thousands and we can just add them up. Now, I'm just going to do this for the eight ten thousands. We won't do this for the rest because hopefully you're thinking to yourself right now, I don't need to add up eight ten thousands. I just know that's 80,000. Well, and if you do know that, you are correct, but sometimes we might not know the shortcuts. You notice I didn't put the comma. I don't want to think that's a one. So obviously these are all going to be zeros. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight ten thousands. That's the same as 80,000. And so what we're going to do is instead of continuing to do that for the hundreds and the nine tens, we're just going to say, okay, so that's eight. That's 80,000. I'm going to write that underneath here. 80,000. So I've got my 80,000. And then I've got 400. So that's 100, 200, 300, 400. So I'm just going to write 400 underneath here. And then I've got nine tens. I can skip count by tens if I want to. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Or I can just remember that nine tens is nine times 10, and that's 90. And it says we've got the sum, so we might as well just add them all up. So we've got 0, 0, 0, that's 9, that's a 4, that's a 0, and we've got an 8. And we have our answer, 80,490. Now that's the long way. What's the short way? Well, the short way is if we remember our place value. So... Let's go ahead and write some place value places here. There's our comma. After every three, you have a comma. And I'm just going to label these as ones, tens, hundreds. And this is our ones period, our ones family. Because then we're going to go up here. We're going to say ones, tens. And then this is our thousands period, or our thousands family. And we could go up to 100,000, but we don't need it because the largest digit is in the eight is the eight in the ten thousands. The reason we know this is because if we know that we have one ten hundred and then one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, we can simply plug in these digits. So it says eight in the ten thousands. So I go to my thousands family and I draw an eight. Four in the hundreds, so there's a hundred right there. Nine in the tens, that's my nine right there. And then that's all we have. So when you have any blanks, you're going to put a zero. That means you have no value. And then we don't need this 100,000 because uh, we could put a zero there, but that's just going to look strange. That's the short way if you remember how to draw a basic place value chart. So what's wrong with some of these other ones? Well, B, this 490 looks perfectly fine. But look at this 8. That 8 is in the thousands place, but it's supposed to be 10,000. So that 8 is in the wrong spot. C, C is actually kind of funny because it ignores all place value and it takes the only three digits that you can find. We have an 8, we have a 4, we have a 9. I don't know where they go. Let's just slap them all together in order and that's what you're going to get, 849. Every single one of those digits is in the wrong spot. And then D is also kind of close. You notice your 80 is fine. It's got the 8 in the 10 thousands. Your difference right here is your 4. Right, we're supposed to have the four in the hundreds, but they put the four in the tens, and then the nine they put in the ones, and that should be in the tens. So those are both wrong. 